a pretty good player. Uh, for yeah. much of Colorado. Um, what does he do? What makes him unique? Yeah, good, good. Um, well, the thing about him is, you know, he's clearly the guy that they want to get the ball to. And so I think a lot of it has to do with the scheme that they do in order to get the ball to him. You know, they do a lot of things to get him open, isolate him, just try and make the best matchups for him. And since he's a good player, you know, he, he's he's very he's very fast off the line. You know, he's, he's got quick movement speed, things like that. But, um, you know, along with running good routes, having a game plan in order to, to get him open, that also combines in order to get him a lot of yards. You mentioned that they, they target him. Well, the thing is, is they have so many formations and so many ways to get him the ball. So, yes, you know that that's someone that you got to look out for, but there's also the fact that they have their tendencies. And all of these things combine in order for us to know on certain downs, certain distances, maybe they're going to throw this play depending on this formation. You know, there's so many variables that you got to take in, into account. So I couldn't say that it's easy just because one person's going to, like, get the ball most of the time. He's just a person that you know that the ball could be coming towards. And depending on that formation, you know, maybe that's a setup to get him the ball this way. Did you see the Beavers do anything to kind of limit him? They, they kind of shut him down, so to speak, until, you know, garbage time. Did they do anything in particular that you noticed on that? Well, I think that they just played a good game. You know, he, he got the ball quite a few times, especially early on. And, um, you know, I, I can't really say what they did that was special in order to limit him. I, I just think that they happen to have a pretty good game plan. And, you know, he didn't, he didn't do as well as usual, but he, he definitely did have a pretty good game, if you ask me. Going back to, to, to Boulder, you were there a couple years ago. What do you remember about Ralphie? Uh, you guys got to follow uh, the duck on the motorcycle out. They, they call it Buffalo. What do you remember about that? I thought it was cool. You know, I, I personally, being from where I'm from, I've never seen a buffalo in real life. So just to see it, it was really cool. I actually wanted to go over there and touch it, but, you know, you can't. But um, I, I think that's a cool thing about school's traditions, you know, to see what they do in order to, to come out for a game and things like that. Uh, I thought it was cool that Virginia came out on, on the uh, the horse and things like that. You know, it's real cool to see the way that people just introduce their team. So that was definitely one of my favorites, just to see them run them out there. What about playing in the outside? What do you remember about that? Did it affect you much? And what did you kind of maybe learn from that? You know, breath, breath's a little hard to catch at first, but it, it's really not a big deal once you get accustomed to it. If you ask me, I think that you'd end up playing better because you get a little bit more oxygen in the higher air.